So why not go to Google to see that? It's startup, it's mm -hmm. paused, and then I can turn on each of these cores individually. Turn them off, and as each of these video cores are running, you mm -hmm. can see the the frequency on that CPU core and how much it's scaling, how it's scaling up and down dynamically. So you pause the video immediately. That core is totally not used anymore. Okay, there you go. perfect. Thanks. Now, if I like this one, I can turn on the audio on this one. Uh, listen to audio. Uh, let's say I like this movie. I want to take a you know, closer look at it. I double tap into it. Now it actually switches into a full 1080p mode. Mm -hmm. So it's just playing you know, what you're used to 1080p video. So it really makes, you know, think about uh, why you're able to use this like in website, web pages. It gives you a, or your gallery. It becomes live now. With, uh, with the ability to actually be able to play multiple videos. And it's just not uh, low quality, low resolution videos. You can play videos in the native resolution. You know, if you shot a 720p high definition video, you don't have to create a low resolution VGA thumbnail type video and then play them and then play this one. But this one you're able to play just a 720p and then you know, do better with that. Then I can go back and Look at other high definition videos and so on. So, you know. So, you get to pick which uh, video gets the, like you pull the audio from? Yes, I can select if I select this one, the audio switches to that. Okay. So, you see the icon up top okay. here. Nice. So, it's, it's actually decoding all the audio from all the clips, okay. but it's just uh, playing one of them. So, it's doing a lot of processing real time, decoding the videos, audio. And it's making a use of both our uh, hardware, built-in hardware, that is able to process 1080p videos, and at the same time making use of the four CPU cores that we have in our 8064 chipset.